Well, welcome everybody to another episode of The Neck Pour. Today we've got a pretty exciting whiskey, one from our good friends at Florier. Distillery. Very exciting, John. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, this is a very important whiskey for 2023. Yeah, right? so Florier Distillery, The Hunting of the Snark. This was actually the Australian Distilled Spirits Association's trophy winning whiskey for 2023. So when you think about hundreds and hundreds of whiskies, amazing whiskies that go into this show, um, this came out as the trophy winner on the very top as the number one. Uh, the, the show is judged by a lot of amazing people in the Australian spirits industry. So it's one that's held in pretty high regard, particularly when it comes to the judging of, of whiskey. Um, we're very lucky that we've got a bottle here from the distillery. Uh, we're so excited to open it now, have a neck pour, and then have it on the bar here for you guys to try as well. So I might just crack into this one, Jose, what do you reckon? Yeah. Um, Fleurier Distillery, they are very good friends of ours. Um, they come to all the whiskey festivals that we have organized, and we done tastings with them, and you know, Gareth and Angela are sensational people. Uh, we're very happy that this, way, this award went to them. Um, it's proof of their you know, the quality of the whiskies that they produce. And as we do in our uh, segment, the neck pool, we're going to have a little try. Oh, that's right. So yeah. the bottle itself um, is one single peated pair of cask. Uh, 520 bottles from the cask, bottled at 47% ABV. Um, the name Hunting of the Stark, it's a Lewis Carroll poem. It's kind of about chasing, um, chasing happiness. So I guess that they've uh, they've achieved the goal with this one, and they've had a Jabberwocky release as well. So I'm not sure if it's yeah. Gareth or or Ange that has the the love of Lewis Carroll, but um, they seem to uh, have some amazing names when they bottle their whiskies. So um, this has been diluted down to 47 percent, which is a perfect drinking strength for me. Um, there's quite a bit of smoke on the nose yeah. as barbecue. It's not this peat like it's it's sort like of a peat. It's more like a smoke. It's like a sweet smoke, sweet smoked almost like nuts. Yeah. Like, you know, those nuts that people, you know, cook. Smoked and, almonds. Yeah, smoked almonds. So it's, it's it's really beautiful. Nice. It's a fantastic background of uh, fruit, too. Mm -hmm. the like fresh fruit or like maybe like dry, well, dry fruit, apricot. Uh, mm. Maybe like dry smoked pineapples or something. Oh, the amazing palate. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Whiskey, incredibly harmonious. You can see why a whiskey like this would take up a gong at the um, Australian Distilled Spirits Association Awards for a very good reason. Amazing balance, really beautiful, pretty palette, a nice lengthy finish that sort of hangs around with a little bit of noble spice, ginger, nutmeg. And I must say that 47% is a perfect drinking strength. I wouldn't put it anywhere else. Like it uh, um, gives you as much flavor as you need. Yeah. Uh, it makes it also a Good uh, drinking strength, you know. It's not like uh, some gas strength that they are, they are, they are slow drinking. This is this is a happiness whiskey. This is yeah. an any time of the day drinking whiskey, even though it's peated. You know that beautiful mix of peat with the apera cask. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely stunning. Really good. And as it opens up a little bit more in the glass as well, I'm just getting more and more fruit and a little bit more nuance from the peat. So absolutely stunning whiskey. Congratulations to the team at Florier and all of their wins with this one. Yeah. Um, all well deserved. And hop down to the South Melbourne Lounge here. Give it a try yourself. It's well worth it. And soon you will see a few other uh, of our friends tasting this whiskey. So. Absolutely. Salut.